Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Did you know that we make some awesome activities for you to do? Yeah, one of our other podcasts, Kids Animal Stories, we make an awesome activity for you to do either at home or maybe at school. And you can listen to the story and do the activity at the same time. It'll help you learn more about that critter and also have some fun along the way. Have your parents click the link down in the show notes below to get those activities for kids. Are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Hey, boss, we have uh, an idea that we've been working on. Uh, would you mind sitting down so we can present our awesome idea to you? Uh, what are you talking about? I didn't ask you to do anything. Oh, we came up with this all on our own, right? Yeah, we've been working really hard on this. Is that so? Well, okay, I will see your idea. Let me sit down and you start your presentation. All right, if you look at this slide right here, uh, you can see uh, how much people don't like sticky things, right? Yes, well, we already know that. That's, that's part of the reason why we want to take over the world and make it stinky. We like sticky things and they don't. Right, so... Uh, Steve, hey, could you pull up that chart right there? Uh, this one? No, not the picture of the cat poop. The other one. Oh, oh, sorry, this one. Yes, yes. All right. This right here is the solution to everything. All of our problems. Garlic. Why this garlic holds all the answers to all the problems? Well, uh, garlic, you know, is very stinky. Oh. I love garlic. Yes, I know it's very stinky. So we're just planning on sneaking garlic into everything, into every food that people eat. And so their breath will smell like garlic. Hmm. I've never thought of a plan like that before, but it sounds like a good plan. All right, Pepper Ninjas, get to work. It was a beautiful day outside as Malachi and his brother Alex were going to the store to get some food for their class picnic outside. Yeah, they were going to have a picnic with their whole class from school outside, and it was their job to bring uh, a whole bunch of apples. Hey, Alex, um, what do you think of the red ones over there? Said Malachi as he was pointing down the apple aisle. Mm, I'm, hmm, I'm. I kind of like the yellow and red ones," said Alex. "Oh yeah, those are good," said Malachi. "Uh, let's just let's get a whole bunch of different colors of apples. I think their class will like the assortment of choices." Malachi filled up the cart that Alex was pushing with five bags of apples. "Whoa! I hope everyone likes apples," said Alex. Even if they don't, we can bring them home and I will probably eat three bags myself, laughed Malachi. They went to the register of the store, paid for the apples, and started walking back home. As they were both carrying the bags in their hands, Alex looked around and said, Hey, Malachi, oh, what's that smell? Something, something smells weird. You're right, Alex does kind of smell strange. There must be, I don't know, something blowing in the wind nearby that we're smelling. But come on, we don't want to be late. Let's go. Malachi and Alex ran as fast as they could to the park to meet up with their class. They only had five minutes left before the picnic was about to begin. Hey, Malachi, could I have one of those apples before you put it over there with all the other food? Yeah, here you go. Malachi handed Alex an apple and brought all the rest of the apple bags to where the whole class had gathered all their food on the table. Alex took a bite out of the apple. Mm. What is... This is disgusting! Malachi! Malachi, come over here! Said Alex as he waved his arms. This tastes... This is like the worst tasting apple I've... And it... Oh, it smells like garlic! Come on, Alex. You gotta be overreacting. Just go pick a different apple if, if you didn't like that flavor. Okay, I'll try. Malachi ran over back to his class to say hey to some friends, and Alex ran back to the table to go look for a different apple that didn't stink like garlic. He found a new apple, 
took another bite, and his eyes got very large. <laughs> he only took two chews before he spit it out on the ground. Blah! Oh, more garlic apples. Malachi, come back over here, waved Alex. We have a serious problem. All right, class, it's time to get a plate and uh, fill up your plate with all the potluck food, said the teacher. Yay! The whole class cheered and ran to the table to get their plates and to start filling it up with food. Hey, Alex, why are you shouting for me again? said Malachi. Or apples! They must be rotten or something because they all taste like garlic! said Alex. Are you serious? Yes! Just smell my breath! <laughs> oh, Alex! D- dude, you gotta brush your teeth more! You smell terrible! said Malachi as he plugged his nose. No, oh, I promise! I-, I did brush my teeth this morning and th- it's the apples! All of a sudden, the class started to hoop and holler as they all, oh, as they bit into their food, it all tasted terrible. Ah, what happened to all of our food? Said one of the kids in the class. This one tastes disgusting. What is this? He had just bitten into a slice of watermelon, but it did not taste like a normal watermelon. Pretty soon, the entire class was in the pandemonium as everybody had garlic breath. Malachi and Alex stood there with their mouths hanging open. It all happened so fast. Everything from the chips to the watermelon to the hot dogs and even those apples. Everything tasted like garlic. Ah, oh, my breath. Oh, it tastes terrible said one of the kids. Malachi turned back to Alex, and they both couldn't believe it. And then their pockets both buzzed. Bzz, 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 bzz. Wow, that was fast, said Malachi. As they pressed the button and listened to the message, it said, Malachi and Alex, there is something terrible happening. All the food in your city has been infected with some kind of garlic that is giving everyone terrible bad breath. We are believing that it must be uh, the plan of Dr. Stinky Breath. So, we have a new strategy. We need you to dress up like purple ninjas and infiltrate their secret base. Malachi and Alex couldn't believe what they were hearing. They just stared at each other with their eyes very large and said, Did HQ just say we're going to dress up like purple ninjas? Said Alex. Hey, sounds fun. I'm in, said Malachi. All right, let's do this, said Alex. Holy smokes, what in the world is going to happen next? The world has been infected with some stinky garlic and all the food. And it's going to be up to Malachi and Alex to try and break into the secret lab and stop them once and for all. While being dressed up like purple ninjas. Do you think it's going to work, or will they get caught? I'm not sure, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Short Stories. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Rowie, who's turning four years old. Rowie's nickname is Carol Barrel for his Fearless ways. He loves ninjas and the Hachu lady. I don't know who the Hachu lady is, but <laughs> Rowie, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy fourth birthday, Rowie. Well, all my friends, I hope you all have a super duper day, and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.